Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time we went to the cinema where Thomas Zane's movie Nightless Night is supposed to be playing. And we found out that Alex Casey was there investigating murders of cops who apparently were going to be initiated uh, into the cult of the tree. And we found out that Ilmo uh, Kos Koskalova um, is also... Well, he was there. Uh, we knew he was part of the cult of the tree, but he was there. And he was talking to Alex Casey. Alex was trying to get out of him who the leader of the cult is. Elmo was like, you'll you'll meet him soon enough. So we are now out in an alleyway behind the theater. What is that? Oh. Ooh, nice. I'm all out, really? Or I'm out of space? Um... I should work this out on a plot board. Uh, we will. Let's just look around first. It's hard, just chilling there. So the M looks like it's fallen. Nothing here. I had to figure this out on the plot board. We will, we will, don't worry. Just looking around first. So that's locked. Okay. So. The cult dumps are trash here. Cultists were driven mad by... Were driven by mad fanatical belief. So we'll do that first. Someone had fallen to their death from the rooftop. Where? Where? There it is. So we keep hearing sounds coming from down there. I only hear people talking. Which means there's some kind of plot point around here somewhere. Uh, not in here. Ah, uh, up there. No. So where's like the, the black mold thing that we look in through, that we look through? So I wonder if the echoes actually change from plot point to plot point. Let's find out. So New York's finest, the cops that sold their souls. Yes, it does. The police car felt 
important to the story. For this initiation, do you? Nah. I'm sure we'll just chant some ceremonial stuff. N nothing to it. Well, it's about time. We paid our dues. Made plenty of their problems disappear. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. We're going straight to the top, partner. Yep, like we died and went to heaven. So wait, if that's Mulligan and Thornton... So do they... Okay, I'm confused as to what the Cults of the Tree is doing. Because we saw those guys possessed. They were in the darkness. In the overlap. And we had to beat them. But they were alive in the beginning of the game. So this had to have happened recently. making progress was I though I don't get what that does okay so it brought that to light Okay, and then clip of the lost film. The film was made to be played in a place like this. In the city trapped in eternal night, they watch the film where the night never arrives, where the night hides in your mind. Still locked. There's nothing going on in this room, right? Yeah, I feel like these rooms are untouched. I can't get back up there. So let's do the first one again, the Cult of the Word. Because we solved that one up there. And I don't know how to get it. Wait, is the black thing up there? Yeah, it is. So I have to be looking down from up there. So is the door open in one of the scenarios? No. 
right, I'm missing something. I mean, I'm clearly missing something. I see it. Oh my god. I've been walking around for like almost 20 minutes. I was like, what is the importance of this light? Because I can't use it anywhere else. It's literally just in like this seat with Nerex Finest. I'm like, it has to mean something here. And sure enough. Straight to the top. The dirty cops look down on the city. Their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. I th think I remember where I am. Like in relation to everything else, I mean. In relation to the city and the rooftops. I see it. There we go. Word of stuff. Adds one charged, Alan's flashlight. Um I think the extra charge to flashlight is probably better. Yeah. This full too. I can't take this one. Oh, there we go. Weird. So, where's the cinema sign? Oh, 
Oh yeah, we do. Let's go here. And we need cult of the work. I couldn't add a new element from here. I'd have to go to the scene. down there, isn't it? Um, let me put away... Move... And... Move... Then I'll pick those other two up afterwards. Actually, let me pick it up now, just in case I don't go back that way. Mr. Casey, I'm all yours. Go ahead. Ask that bird question in your mind. How did you do it? How did you get me into that film clip without my remembering it? Talk to me, damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed where he will project a new reality onto this one. <sighs> and now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why'd he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the motor site? Uh, probably have to get back down first. So goddamn close.
Oh, I had it in a different thing, didn't I? Um... Try the Grandmaster. I know it's uh, New York's finest. I'm just looking at the other ones. Nope. Story is affecting the scene. Ah, oh, lordy. My grandmaster, no, my New York's finest. So this door is open now. Oh, so that's where this led to. That's how they got out. Okay. All right. Let's change the lobby to Grandmaster. Was expecting a visitor, that's what it says. So, I need to change the scene to have that room there. Grandmaster's Dark Invitation. Is he on the stage? He's in the film. Wake. Okay. Um. There we go. And yeah, I can't change it. I have to be out there. Oh, I really don't want to go out there with all those shadows. If I need to.
Okay, so what did that do? Do I actually need to go up to the screen? Yeah, I do. I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I wasn't alone. And it was black and white, too. Man, this actually takes me back to my projection days. Anyways. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. It's Alex Casey. What if it's Alex Casey that's the Grandmaster? He's playing us this whole time. It literally could be anyone. It could be fucking Barry. It could be Alice, for all I know. Although it doesn't really make sense. I don't know. I honestly don't know who it could be. Tim Breaker? Could it be Tim Breaker? That would make a little bit of sense. Uh, splicer. I miss these things, man. This shit literally takes me back. And now I'm looping. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had to keep going. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show yourself. Seeing the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. Oh. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going, find a way to the murder site. I'm here, you son of Hello? a bitch. Hey! Show yourself! Who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole. You can run, but you can't hide. The grand master of my ass. It's gone. You're a clown in a man. But I saw some. I'm not the one wearing a mask here, you moron. Why don't you come here and say that to my face, buddy? Then we'll see who's the moron. It's Alex Casey. You know how much work that is, bro? You have any idea how much work that is?
I have no idea where to go. Oh, now there's a door here. Projection booth. All right. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find a way to the murder site. I feel like this is the last time. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Sacrificed to open the way. No, <laughs> don't do it. You don't have to become a monster. Just leave the knife where it is in the back and go. A knife in the back? Everything about this was absurd. Our dialogue forced and ridiculous, in desperate need of another pass. But I'd play along to see where it took me. Let's forget about the knife. Don't, don't go looking for the knife. There is no knife. I'm confused. I mean, that's obviously meant to be Sam Lake. Let's forget about the knife. Don't the knife. go looking for the knife. There is no knife. Oh no. Oh no, you don't. You'll be sorry. Yeah, there he goes. The fuck. Man, I love this visual style. I was getting close. So wait, those visual things that just popped up, does that mean like in the real world that's what's happening with Saga right now? Because the first time when we went through the overlap with uh sarah we saw like the caldera subway is that what was happening to alan at the same time that kind of, that that makes sense Any sense is in your psychotic brain. 
as a fictional character in a story. You have fulfilled your purpose. You brought the writer of the story here. You can go now, Casey. No, 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 I'm not going anywhere before I get some answers! How was I in that movie? How, why does all this feel so familiar? What? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? No! Welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here's an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as a detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, coming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. That, uh, I'm guessing that's the Grandmaster. He had underlying tones in his voice of James McCaffrey. If I'm hearing it correctly. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? Alright. Here's where shit's gonna go crazy now. Now we're back to colored reality. Re reality. A murder site. Holy fuck. The mask was the key. Look at all that. Oh my god, that's so much work. That's Thornton, and that's got to be Mulligan. I was traveling deeper into the dark place. The poem on the wall was growing at the same pace, dogging my footsteps. Like my unwanted shadow moving in the corner of my eye. It wasn't my writing. I didn't know what it was. A terrible prophecy. A curse. Looming over me. Come on. What the fuck? Weird. A pale balloon in the sky. Float and sink deeper. Night springs when bright falls. For this sleeper. The surface disturbed. The reflection now a traitor. In the cavity of the skull. Turned to a crater. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? No, he was Scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, 
Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Did we have Venom in the horror story? I was closer now. Closer than ever before. But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. Hey everyone, uh, really sorry to uh, interrupt right in the middle of the video, but um, I'm actually going to be calling it here at the uh, as the end of the episode. And the reason for that is something comes up literally in the next minute or so that stretches on for about, I want to say about 15 minutes, um, and there's literally no good place to end it. And the episode just kept on dragging on and on and on and on, and I didn't want it to be too long. So... So really sorry about that. Again, I didn't know it was coming. Uh, but I, you guys will see in the next video what will happen. Um, in the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.